The grand ecological diversity of California yields a vast and glorious array of native wildflowers that bloom from below sea level to the summits of our highest peaks. Two immensely talented photographers have spent decades capturing compelling images of these wildflower displays. But they're not only artists, they're also conservation activists who want us to understand that our native environment is in trouble and that scenes like these may disappear in the years ahead. And those two talented photographers are standing right here with me, Rob Badger and Nita Winter. It's so good to see you guys. I've been a huge fan of your work for a long time. And who's your advisor here? Oh, my advisor is Zorro. He's my art consultant and spiritual <laughs> advisor. He helps me photograph. Uh, keeps my mind straight when I'm doing all these things. Well, listen, he's doing a good job, and so are you guys. And let's look at some of the photographs that, that you've taken of this incredible wildflower universe of ours here in California. And you do m many other uh, kinds of photography, but I really want to concentrate on wildflowers today. Your work is spectacularly beautiful. The wide shots, the tight shots, the, or the artistry of it all is spectacular. Thank you. And, and, and you travel really basically all over California and the West doing this. Where, where do you like to go to photograph? Well, we. We do a lot of research to find out where the flowers are that particular time of the year. And especially if there are amazing wildflowers like this year in Death Valley, we certainly try to focus on that particular area. We also know that there are wildflowers in our backyards, in our public lands, where, right where we live, where everyone lives nearby. So we also focus on the smaller parks as well as the big, well-known ones. And when you're out there, I, I've, you know, I've, I've seen photographs of your painstaking work out there. This is uh, this takes some real effort, some real artistry in the setup of what you do as well, and to not harm the plants while you're out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, everything like Nita said we do is on public land. Uh, everything we do is with natural light and the flowers are safe and sound in the ground because we value the individual of each species. That's how we get the evocative beautiful images we get because we spend time on the individual Individual flowers. Yes. And, and I'm, you know, but you're deeply concerned because of habitat loss and climate change that this wonderful world that you've come to know and photograph so beautifully well is at risk. What is your greatest concern about that? Our greatest concern is that we're going to lose the beauty and the variety of species we have. Uh, people value beauty. They value nature. Uh, we're concerned that climate change, habitats, loss is going to lose some of the beauty that's been in these areas for thousands or ten thousands of years. And every flower has a relationship with an animal and insect so as we lose the flowers we also may lose a food source for another being and then the whole system starts to unwind. And so our responsibility in the years ahead is to enjoy the great beauty that you bring us but also care for it, nurture it, do the things we've got to do to make sure that these plants and animals can thrive in the decades and generations ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And meanwhile, you'll be photographing all three of you. All three of us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Yeah. Pleasure Th being thank here. Thank you.